thanks ever so much for allowing us to come here today to chat to our Mac and see how we're working together between the Simpia Lab and our Mac Sciences. So if you don't mind telling me a little bit about our Mac Sciences and uh, what it's all about here? Uh, well, the LMAC Group is an established CDMO providing an extensive range of integrated services across the drug development lifecycle for the pharmaceutical and biotech sectors globally. LMAC Sciences is a subdivision of LMAC Group, so that's a provider of integrated chemical services uh, from development through commercial scale, advanced intermediates and APIs. Uh, which is the active pharmaceutical ingredient. We also provide a range of services for small molecules, including highly potent materials, peptides, and then we've got a, quite a lot of technical expertise offering integrated API contract manufacturing solution through all stages of the drug development lifecycle. Implementing our API services, we support a world-leading biocatalysis platform to secure the supply of biocatalysts for non-GMP and GMP manufacturing projects alike. Additionally, our technology group services are supported by specialist departments, including carbon-14 radio labeling, pre-formulation, solid state services, and analytical support, ensuring the needs of our clients' drug development programs are fully met, whilst maintaining our track record of saving time and cost. For Almax partners, our continuous flow technology platform enables access to better synthetic strategies, which are shorter, offer assured safety, reduce environmental impact, and control of byproducts. In addition, improved yields and improved reaction selectivity is achievable. With the reaction under tight control, the isolation of the product can be easier due to lowering of downstream process purification as a result of the higher quality product output. So why did Alma extend its synthetic capabilities to 10, 20 litre scale? Um, Almac Sciences has grown rapidly over the last five years with significant investments in our non-GMP and GMP manufacturing plants. To support increased client manufacturing demands, as our technology evolves, we are experiencing an ever-increasing pipeline of projects from development through manufacture. And um, let's go and have a look in the labs and see what we're talking about. So Richard, thanks for bringing me to the laboratory. What role do the Ascent reactors have in process development and scale-up? Yeah, so um, when we got the reactors, it was a simple choice to specify the atom stand because then we can lower it to charge starting materials. We can raise it up um, to make it safer when we're handling things in the lab. And then we can run it back at the normal height during the reactions. So, you know, all key operations are done at a safe working height. And then we can adjust the height later on to facilitate phase separation so we can lift it back up, put a drum underneath for a phase set and put it back to a more normal height when we need to. And that also accommodates a BOV height adjustment, which is quite critical, especially if you're going to filter the batch. You don't want it too high so it's spraying out. You want it nice and low so you filter directly. So Richard, how has the additional capacity helped you look after your customers better? Well, the bespoke lab reactors that you've designed for us from sort of 250 to one litre scale, they've been designed in conjunction with us and that produced by yourselves, of course. We use them in both the chemistry and biocatalysis labs for development processes. And that allows us to mimic the reactor shape and design. So we get the mixing characteristics and sort of how good the reactions are going to progress. And the idea is that by doing it in a smaller reactor, and then we scale it up to the bigger reactors, we should get that smooth scale up because we're using similar geometry reactors to what we have in our plants at the actual end of the process. So then these lab vessels allow us to run at a greater scale reactions in the lab, hundreds of grams scale to produce material that might be needed for you know lab use, bigger use tests, and just to make sure the chemistry works on scale. And then this allows us to produce non-GMP materials that the customer might want to use them for, say, formulation work, analytical development, and other activities so they can look at the processes we're running on a decent scale. I'm now with Darren. So Darren, what types of chemistries do you do in these reactors? Um, so the larger glass vessels are used to run various chemistries from recrystallizations 
using the program ramps uh, controlled via the attached Presto unit. The cylinder charges of organometallic reagents, which are air or moisture sensitive. Vessel to vessel transfers are also performed using uh, pumps to undertake more complex chemistries to demonstrate processes on scale. We run various biocatalytic steps in our lab, which, for example, they require constant pH control of the reaction to, uh, while simultaneously charging substrate to demonstrate the process before scale up into the Kilo Lab or manufacturing uh, plant vessels. Therefore, the combination of ASIN vessels with Elabo units are utilized to demonstrate a large variety of chemistries, which prove the processes perform as expected, allow the modeling or refinement of processes prior to scale up, produce materials at the, in the labs at, at a larger scale. So what was the reason, Richard, to choose the Elabo Presto units? Um, okay, so Almax got a, a very good working relationship with Ascent over the last several years. He custom designed all the vessels with us and also produced the scale up uh, reactors. And then we've also had a, a very good relationship with Yalabo for the last four or five years as well. And they supply quite a lot of bigger TCU units as well as the lab size units to us. So we're very impressed with the Ascent versatile atom stand, of course, because it's for the larger vessels, gives us a lot of flexibility when you've got a larger vessel as well, which is really useful, something that the competitors don't really offer. And then we couple that with the reliable and easy to use Presto units, and that gives us a lot of control. We've got the A45s on a 20 litre, we've got the A40s on a 10, and then we use a lot of the small units in the labs as well. So this has been a very worthwhile relationship that's been built on over these years. So the, the design efficiency of the Presto units, which draws on the, the air through front to back, which is very useful in a lab environment, especially in any confined areas, because then you don't have any overheat issues. Uh, so that's the, one of the big things that we like about the Prestos. They're easy to use, and you know this is a very significant selling point for us that then everyone can use them equally due to the user-friendly menus and things. And also, we've actually built on this. So we've got the A30s, A40s, A45s in the labs. And then we go up to the bigger units in the Keel lab. So we've got W55s and W91s in the Keel lab on the 50 to 100 litre vessels that we got in the Almac Sciences Keel lab for non-GMP manufacturing. And then in GMP labs, we've increased our capacities as well. So we've replaced a lot of older units with Presto W50s and they're sort of on 10 to 30 litre and up to 100 litre vessels in the GMP operating uh, areas in the small scale GMP teams. And we also have um, low temperature capabilities with the A85s. So we do some low temperature work as well. So that's a really good widespread of units and then the vessels to go with them. Undoubtedly, chemistry can unlock solutions to some of our most urgent global challenges from achieving climate change targets to net zero, addressing supply chain dependence, and providing essential healthcare for aging populations. The need for sustainable green chemistry approaches has been long voiced and will continue to see a rapid uptake within the industry as chemical producers look to satisfy both stricter legislation, environmentally conscious buyers, and those who are driven by key corporate social responsibility targets. Pharmaceutical and fine chemical industry continues to innovate and as new chemical entities and targets are selected, CDMOs like Almac need to have an armory of technologies at their disposal to be able to synthesise these products from gram to potentially multi-ton manufacture efficiently and effectively and at the right price. This is where the strength of the partnership with companies like Ascent and Jalabo really come into their own. Their approach to helping us deliver more sustainable chemistry through their own innovative solutions drives the change to much more sustainable practices. So what's it been like dealing with Ascent and New Labo? Um, we've been working with Ascent for a number of years to custom design the smaller lab vessels. When it came to buying the larger vessels, it was a natural progression of this good relationship that we've had established for the last few years. And then we received very good support from Ulabo, both in the UK sales team and the technical support from Germany, should any technical issues arise with the systems. So it's been a, a very worthwhile um, experience. A really big thank you from myself and my team at Sint and the guys at Ulabo for allowing us to come here today to talk to you and find out more about how we've been working together. It's, it's fantastic to hear 
So really, thank you very much for today. Yeah, thank you. Take care.